Boy, she's windy here today. Oh, also the first time rabbit catch never made me cry. Ooh, look at that. Well guys, today I got my Elmer Fudd jacket on and we're gonna have some fun with those Weasley Wabbits. So stick around. where a porcupine was here many years ago and uh, fed off this tree and of course once they do that they ultimately kill the tree makes it good for kettle sticks just the same Little. Getting some snowball action on the go there, aren't you? It's a little sticky today. Well guys, today was going to be a little fun video. A few weeks ago, a subscriber and friend of mine, uh, Murray Parrott, um, called me up and said uh, he'd like to see a video. He often noticed that rabbits would come out around wood ashes all the time, you know? And I've noticed that too. You throw out the ashes from your, from your wood stove or have a boil up in the woods like this sometimes. And the rabbits just seem to gravitate towards it within a day or so. And I've also noticed uh, and setting up my hot tent this winter several times that when I go back to my hot tent I can see where the rabbits are literally uh, uh, walking right around the circumference of the tent trying to get in because they smell that uh, 
the burnt wood ash and the, and, and the fibers that are broken down, I guess, in the woods. So, uh, today I got some ashes from my cabin stove and I just had a boil up here just like you would any other day in the woods. And uh, I'm actually going to build a rabbit pound right around this, right around this um, campfire that we just had. So kind of simulate exactly what you would do if you were in for a boil up. Now when this fire burns down, uh, I'm just going to make the uh, standard rabbit pound. I'm going to put a stick here, stick here, and a stick across here. And then I'll put some uh, some rabbit snares there. I do. I, I am in the craving for another rabbit uh, before the season ends and it's drawing to a close. So uh, yeah, let's just have some fun with this and see what happens. And by the way, a big shout out to my friend Murray Parrott um, and his son Olin actually. Uh, Olin watches my channel as well. and. Uh, Murray told me that when he watched the hot tent video, he actually got so excited about the uh, outdoor uh, style of living and, and tenting, he actually uh, brought out his uh, tent that he came out and set it up in the living room and kind of made out he was actually out in the woods with a hot tent. So, so yeah, big shout out to Murray and Olin. This is fun. It's the first time I can tell you that I ever set a rabbit slip when the fire is burning like 16 inches away. So I got that one set up. I set up another one over here now and another one there. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm bad, isn't I? Yeah, it's bad. Well, the first time rabbit catch never made me cry. Smoke! And we are done. I got one snare here, one over here in that opening, and one right here. And this uh, fire is just about out now, but I am going to add the ashes from my cabin wood stove too, just for a bonus. guys she's done there's our ashes our snares are around there I'm gonna give this a couple days I know there are rabbits around here uh, I see them all the time and I've caught some here pretty much every winter but uh, we just had about uh, six inches of snow last night so uh, uh, they'll come around and uh, I'm gonna leave this about two nights before I come back I I don't know I've if I was a gambling man, which I'm not, but if I was, I think I'd probably go maybe 40% chance of catching a rabbit. What do you guys think? Well, you let it stick around and see what happens in a couple days. Hey, snowball girl. about the last couple mornings about these rabbit snares and I must say I'm uh, excited to check them today to see if the rabbits came back. I don't know if I got one in the snare or not but I'm kind of expecting the rabbits to be back there. But uh, we get one for the uh, for a stew or a soup that's a bonus. And of course uh, Willow's with me as well. Aren't you Willow? The uh, trail has gotten so hard since the last time I was here. We well, see some rabbit tracks. We'll see some fresh rabbit tracks. We'll pick that up on the camera. Can you see Willem or anything? 
Whoa, would you look at that? Over there. Woo! Look at that! Yes, sir. Look at that. A little bit frozen there, too, so it must have been the... I don't know. There's a bit of snow on it, so it snowed last night. Don't know if it was the first night or the second night, but... Pretty hard. What is it, Willow? Another bunny rabbit. Yeah, so as I'm sizing it up, now I can see those tracks that I pointed out first. They come right in here. So it must have been last night, because we had a little dusting of snow last night. I guess the fire burnt down a little bit after I left the other day, but there's still lots of, lots of ashes there. Unreal. Well, I can't say I'm not a little bit surprised because I am but uh, I did think they'd come around but I did not think that I'd be lucky enough to catch one so that's a bonus for sure and that's the uh, last rabbit I'll catch this year now because the season is coming to a close um, so I'm gonna pull up these rabbit snares now this will be the last one that I'll have for a stew or a soup well, that was a wonderful wonderful tip thanks Murray Well guys, thanks for sticking around again. Until next time, take care, and we'll catch you on the next video. Big Willow likes this rabbit.